Immortals, I'm Jensen and welcome to the Silent Hill 2 Remake. Oh my god, I've been looking forward to this one coming out for months since I found out it was coming out. I very frequently say that Silent Hill is one of, if not the, best horror franchise I have ever experienced in my life. Now, I have not played Silent Hill 2 since I was about 16, and that was the original version, and that was roughly 14 years ago because I'm turning 30 in just a couple of weeks from now. To put that into perspective, if you've already left high school, that would have been the entire time you would have spent in education. So that was an entire lifetime ago. I don't know too much about the story, so I'm going to be very analytical. Although in saying that, I actually really like the films as well, the, si the two Silent Hill films. I really, really like those. And a lot of people say that they kind of crap on the a commonly accepted story, which I think is a little bit short-sighted because the films are really, really good in their own way. The monster design is second to none in the Silent Hill films, especially that spider mannequin from the second one. And of course, the first film has one of my favorite ever scenes where that girl throws the rock at the police officer and the police officer uh, holds her head like this and the lady shouts, filth and lies! <coughs> Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the game. Starting at this main menu right here, I can actually see over my shoulder that there is in fact a lady's face right here, which nobody would have been able to see in the original game because it was blurry as hell. I don't know much about the story otherwise. I either can't remember it or I have repressed it because it was one of the first ever horror games that I had ever played in my life. So. We'll fire into a brand spanking new game here. We'll crank the combat challenge up to hard, puzzle challenge up to hard. Interface preset, uh, just go with default, I suppose. And graphic mode, uh, let's get pretty colors. Why not? We're not playing this on PlayStation 2. Let's actually get some nice colors in here. Now, for the sake of full disclosure, I have played a little bit of this game already. I had to get the graphics up and running, and it took me about four different recording sessions to actually get this game to function properly. So I've turned off all of the shading, which apparently absolutely spikes the CPU when you're trying to play this game by an enormous amount. So I've turned off all of the shadows. If the game looks kind of weird, that's probably why. I've also changed the subtitles to have a really wacky font, because I doubt many other YouTubers would use the subtitles settings in this game either. Okay, so this is very clearly someone, probably us, the protagonist. I seem to remember we start in the bathroom, kind of just arriving at Silent Hill, and I think we're investigating someone named uh, Martha? Meredith? Something? Whoa, look at the graphics. I love the fold in the hand when he presses his thumb against it. So I should probably point out... This was made by Bloober Team, and up until it literally just released a few days ago, people were saying this is going to be one of the crappest remakes since... Uh, I, I can't remember what the last crap remake was, but people are saying that this is just a bad remake, and I am very happy to say that since the release, not only is everybody incredibly happy with the game, but it has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, which just indicates that this is a massive commercial success, and hopefully this is going to be the thing that kicks back off the absolute love story that we all had for Silent Hill. Mary, that's her name. Could you really be in this town? And we are James, according to the subtitles. Here we are. Now, I've already got a couple of theories. One, we're dead. Two, it's actually a ghost town. Three, I... We could be dreaming it, actually. I think that when Konami was developing the original games, there was a lot of very heavy emphasis put on dream states. So I'm going to stay quite conscious of that. Dreams, I see that town. What town? Say the name of it. Silent Hill. Ah, I said the name! <laughs> you promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Womp womp. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. How many womp womps do you want? Waiting for you. It's a nice soundtrack. I love the Silent Hill soundtrack as well. It is so good. So, are we just, like, chasing, I think... I got a letter. Yeah, so we got a letter, right? The name on the envelope said Mary. Mary, which is our ex-wife. My wife's name. Yeah. So, I think we've been catfished. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. We don't know it's from Mary, though. 
Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Of course she did. She didn't get the vaccines. She refused. So then why am I looking for her? That is, of course, for the Spanish flu, not for anything COVID-related. special place. What could she be? This whole town was our special place. Could Mary really be here? Probably not, my dude. Is she really alive? Not if she died of the Spanish flu. Waiting for me. Soundtrack is already overpowered. actually in the game what a transition uh, i should point out that it's actually kind of hard to tell the difference between the shading on and off because i'm not playing on a 4k monitor so i should point out there's a little bit of a backstory with mary i would say i think this is probably our car right mary comes from a long line of anti-vaxxers and while some families prefer to pass down uh heirlooms like jewelry or some oh a map that is going to be helpful or not, I can see where the little green arrow just like down here in the corner and there's only really one path to go up. Okay, good to know. Yeah, so a lot a lot of families, they kind of like pass down paintings, uh, jewelry, other memorabilia, sometimes war medals. No, not Mary. Mary's family, uh, they pass down the Spanish flu. Just over and over and over again. As soon as somebody turned 40 years old, they would receive the Spanish flu. Oh my god, this is actually giving me so many memories back from childhood, to be quite honest. Now, I grew up in a little bit of a coastal town. Me, myself, and this is not me actually, like, taking the piss this time. I grew up in a little coastal town called Waikowaiti, and it is very, very remote. Very, very uh, sheltered from the rest of the world, I would say. It is the first town in the southern region of D New Zealand that I live in, Otago. It was the first town... Settlers settled in Waikowaiti, and they settled there because it was an estuary, an estuary, and food was very, very easy to find over there. Now, the th the reason I bring up Waikowaiti right now is because Silent Hill, we all know what happens in Silent Hill, right? The fog descends over the town, everything, the skin peels across the walls, and then everything turns into nightmare land at night time with the big air raid siren playing, right? So when I was a kid, I had to walk to my primary school, which was only around about seven or eight blocks from my house. And every time I had to get up, we left at around about 7.30 to 8 a.m. By we, I mean just myself. And half of the time, the town ship of Waikiki, uh, New Zealand, would be blanketed in some of the thickest fog that you could have ever seen. You wouldn't be able to see two meters in front of yourself sometimes. And this was all the fog that rolled in off of the shores and all the fog rolling down off of the hills as soon as the sun came up and started warming up the land. I'm just following the path here, by the way. Now, additionally, what would happen is when the sun would come up, it does that thing that you've probably seen on a million different sunsets where it made all of the clouds turn red because it's, uh, that's, that's just how it diffuses through fog. So, I would wake up, we'd have this thick white blanket of fog when the sun actually starts rising, peeking its head over the, uh, over the hills that sheltered my hometown. It would turn the fog, fog red, and at 8.15, every single morning, the fire station, which was on the uh, highest hill in Waikoyeti, would test its siren. So, I literally grew up in Silent Hill. This was also one of the first games that I ever got to play in my life. Oh my god, it is so nice. I can't believe I'm actually playing it. Great! It's also very expensive. Okay, so I've got my story out of the way. What the hell is this? This is obviously something we're supposed to be looking at. Uh, I don't trust that for a goddamn second. Oh, it's a game save station. Oh, I love how we've got, like, the point of view of the save station. What if we, like, move sideways? Someone's groping around my skull. Okay. So if we come to the side here, is it actually going to have a, a different perspective? No, it's not. We have to be in a very, very specific place. Okay, I'll start running along. I'll start actually playing the game now. Oh, this is that cemetery that we must have seen in our map. Yes, sir. We're at the graveyard. Oh, I can I wait. I literally can I wait. Let's burst through here if we can. Oh, okay. So going through the... What the hell was that? Oh, it's a person. 
Hey, lady. What's good? In memory of... Oh, I couldn't read that. What do you think her name is? Milfred? <gasps> I'm sorry. I, I was just... Hey, it was girl. It's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> yes, you did. I'm kind of <laughs> lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Yeah, I've got a map. I know that. Thanks. But... I think you should stay away. Like hell this, I will! Uh, this town, there's something wrong with it. And it's not just the fog, either. Is it dangerous? Maybe. It's kind of hard to explain, but... She was looking right at me. I'm not lying. During that pause. No, I believe you, it's just... I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going either way. But why? I'm looking for... Someone. Someone very important to me. Me too. She's kind of pretty, actually. I'm looking for my mama. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry, it's not your problem. No, I, uh, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. I like your turtle, Nick. I'm sorry I scared you. So all of this does kind of tie into my whole uh, we are possibly dead theory. We can actually go back and uh, talk to her a little bit more. Can we shove her? No. Okay, game fine then. I won't shove anybody! Though I want to. Can we punch? No. Do we actually, can we look for her parents? So it's pretty obvious, right? I got most of, ooh. There's a dug grave right here. Oh, no wonder it's filling up with water. It was right next to this. Where the hell sticks a cemetery? Why are there actually gravestones in there? Can we go in here maybe? No. Uh, hey girl, I'm not really finding exactly who I was looking for. Are you the catfish? Did you, uh... Did you want anything else? Well, I mean, no, I- No, it's just... This fog. Does it seem unsettling to you? I guess. Um, it's just through the gate and down the path. You'll get there in no time. Hey, I, um, I don't mean to intrude on, uh, the, the privacy or the moment that you're having here in this graveyard, but, uh, you know, um, my wife's dead. You know what that means? Good luck finding your the one you're looking for. Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, yeah, I'll find her. I, uh, Just trying to uh. I should probably get going. Yeah, I probably should actually. I'm I'm getting vibes that you're not really uh kind of interested in what I'm putting forward here. All right, fine. <laughs> we'll leave her alone. We'll leave her to her misery. So yeah, I do kind of feel like there is a lot of. Room for interpretation when it comes to the Silent Hill series, which I absolutely adored about the game. It's really, really hard to make an entire game franchise centered around not telling anybody at all what the game is about. And I also remember uh, somebody was asking the creature designer on Twitter or, or somewhere like that about Pyramid Head, of course, Daddy Big Sword. Um, and what they asked was what was under the pyramid and the creature designer responded with head which is just such an ambiguous thing to say i literally cannot think of anything funnier to respond with anything in here some firewood in there oh can we go in here no uh looks like a little jetty down there not particularly interested okay we found the silent hill ranch can we go in there no 
What if we crawled in through here? No, nothing through there either. That is drainage, by the way. That's a drainage pipe so that you can build roads without uh, without having to go through puddles and such. Everything's kind of bugged here, isn't it? There's a glass house over there, but it's more like grass house at this point. But yeah, I'm really excited. I've been avoiding this game and its updates like the plague. I'm going to be completely caught off guard by all of it. I cannot wait to see my favorite ever horror mascot, of course, Daddy Big Sword. And maybe he'll make some Konami salami for us as well. I'm all about that Konami salami. Uh... Uh, what the hell is that sound? Is that an oboe? Is someone practicing the oboe off in the distance? That's obviously a silo. And that is probably a corn feeder going into a barn of some sort. Or vice versa, kind of hard to say. Kind of hard to say sometimes. Sorry, I thought I saw something. But I did not. Okay, I'll stop looking around like an ADHD spastic because I realize that I may have some kind of undiagnosed form of ADHD, which I can't confirm nor deny on account of the undiagnosed part. Oh, the best auto parts! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Huh. Oh. It's locked. Okay, uh, nope right here. Went to town to get the window fixed. Spare keys in the drawer. Alright, uh, thank you for that little tidbit of information. How the hell do we get in? <laughs> Did he lock himself out? Maybe that's why it's abandoned. Hello? Anyone uh. in here? Press E to climb through. Yes, I already figured that one out ages ago. There is a car here. Did he actually go into town? What's around this corner? Okay, not a hell of a lot. Okay. Let's just go straight to the obvious then. There's a key right here. Excellent. Great. Now we've got more keys than Pablo Escobar. Press I to open the inventory. Why? Okay, just a key, it seems. We can investigate it. I can't see anything. <laughs> Okay, so we need to be in a well-lit area, it seems. Is that a deadbolt? I love how nothing really has an animation or a cutscene necessarily. I kind of just love that we just organically interact with the world. Okay, I just ran into that door like a numpty. Ow, my face. My knees! Uh, we do have the auto parts key. Let's try and use this. What is that font from? The font that I've picked is actually from a Silent Hill game. I think it might be a, a Konami proprietary thing. I also thought I just saw a person over there. No, I did not. Okay, my eyes are actually playing tricks on me in the fog, like they used to when I was walking to school as a kid. Okay. Oh, that is awful feng shui. Uh, they could at least hang the sign up, right? Okay, what's in here? Uh, graffiti. I'm pretty sure it's, it's stated as. Okay, it just shoulder barged a gate open. No momentum in this game, it seems. Anything in here? No. What the hell was that sound? What is going on with these signs? Well, obviously I know what's going on with these signs because I know what this game is based off of. There was a mining town that actually did end up catching fire and all of the uh, tunnels that went beneath the town ended up basically roasting the town. And uh, I think there were quite a few, like hundreds of casualties, which at the time of it happening was, I think a quarter of the population of the city, including uh, miners, children, women, you know, because they, they didn't used to let women work in the mines for some reason. I think it was a, uh, an insecurity thing. Oh, what if that woman's better than me at mining? No. And then they get the children in the mines. They're all like, ha, mine is mining. Funny. Uh, so this is the road runner. What is this? Like a bed and breakfast, maybe? Uh, I think we have stamina. We're really out of breath, it seems. Okay. Turning around. Every now and then I get a little bit closer to finding out if we're alive or dead. We've turned around. Okay. What are we looking at here? Oh, frame drop like crazy. Is this another note from Mary? No, it's a pocket map. Hey, just got the achievement for staying at Silent Hill. Great. So, uh, there's a few places we can go. We could go to Happy Burger, Gonzalez Restaurant, Texan Cafe, American Cafe. Neely's Bar There's the Saul Street Apartments. We'd better actually call down there, I think. 
Uh, there's the Grand Market right in the middle of the screen. Lucky Jade Restaurant. Groovy Music. That's a funny name for a store. Woodside Apartments. Blue Creek Apartments. And I'm pretty sure there is so much more. There's Vax Road, Lindsay Street, Martin Street, Sanders Street. I don't know if they're in reference to anything necessarily, but... Oh, we can just flick through all the maps. That's handy. Ah, and we kind of like mark things off on the map as we go down them as well. Look, Wilts Road has a little barrier right there. So if we... That's where we're right beside, actually. Whoops. Uh, how do we get out of here? Back. Right mouse button. So if we hang a left down here, we should actually be able to see some stuff, right? It's down here? No, it's definitely cut off. There's a bunch of crap here blocking our way as well. We'll have to go around this turnpike, unfortunately. Okay. I'm paranoid about the frames dropping. Just, uh, I'll be just a second. Oh, that's so much smoother. Great. Okay, so we got turned around, hilarious. That's exactly what happens usually on Silent Hill. Also, I found out that if we press Q, we turn around. Isn't that awesome? God, I love that so much. We're going to need to remember that when Daddy Big Sword comes after us, I think. All right, so I feel like this might be a transition into another map. Yes, it is. Okay, so we've got Silent Hill right here. Apparently, it's right next to Toluca Lake. I don't know where that is. What if we go down this way? What is down this way? There is a sign over here. So this is Sanders Street. Excellent. It is completely blocked off at the end. Is that added to our map? Yes! Okay, great. That is cool. That is so cool, actually. I love that feature so much. This game is still really pretty, even with just, like, medium graphics as well. I can't see dicks, though. Cool, what's in here? Flowers. Celebrating 70 years of what? Nine years? Okay, we're barging our way in. I didn't think that would actually work, but hey, here we are. What's in here? Uh, not a hell of a lot. There's a note right there. Anything else? Any dangers? No. What does it say? Miss Cassandra. 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 I think that's Cassandra. That's an M, isn't it? Miss Cassandra. A customer came in today, ordered a mixed bouquet, red and white. One tried to explain it's bad luck. No, I tried to explain it's bad luck, but he couldn't decide on just one. He seemed a bit off. Looked at me like I wasn't even there. Then he just left. Said he'd be able to pick him up later. I just wanted to get, let you know, since I might be gone by then. Okay, I'm taking that, apparently. Collected the flower shop message. Woo! We've collected a collectible. It is mine. I've added it to my pocket. It was that blood? What is this? Is that blood? No! Not here! <laughs> Not in my special place with Mary! Uh, can we rob this postal van, maybe? Anything in the back of here? No. Looks like we've got raccoons all over the city as well. Hashtag raccoon city. Okay, we'll come all the way down this way. I'm actually loving this so far. I know we... We haven't got into the combat yet, which a lot of people were talking a bunch of smack about on the internet, saying, Oh, there's no tank controls. Oh, they fixed the combat. It's not going to be scary anymore. And they didn't quite realize that uh, not only were the tank controls just an absolute pain in the ass to ever have to deal with, but now the game actually apparently functions a little bit better. So you can actually uh, decide whether or not it's worth your time to kill something or just go around it. You can actually do playstyle. Can we crouch? No. But we can cough up a lot. It's a good thing we're not, um... What the hell is this? It's a good thing we don't have asthma. Which apparently I have. I asked my dad uh, why I was feeling a tightness in my chest over the last couple of days. Uh, expecting it to be like a stroke or something. And it turns out asthma is actually a family curse of mine. Ooh, why is this barred from the outside? Why is this barred from the... Ugh, cockroaches! Yuck! Ah, this is the worst purgatory I've ever been to. Uh, there's a couple of houses down here. I don't really think there's anywhere we can go into, right? I don't know how open this game is. That's that's another concern of mine. I don't know how open world that this game is actually supposed to be. I feel like they were moving, unfortunately. But they uh, couldn't move fast enough. Oop, got some old 70s styles glass bricks down there leading into what I can only assume to be a subfloor basement. Can we go in here? No, but I can't run into the door. Ow, my face. Uh, 
We probably shouldn't just be loudly running around here like an absolute twit, though. <laughs> to be quite honest, I think this might actually be just the worst idea we've ever had. We've had some pretty bad ideas. We On this channel, we usually play games like an absolute jackass, but it seems like this is probably the worst idea we've ever had. There's a cafe over here. Texan! Okay, we're at the Texan cafe. That is a lot of blood, I assume. Sweet mother of God. Did someone jump? Did someone do a jump off the building? Yep. More rags and stuff on the wall over there. What the hell? Okay. Oh, it's one of those things! Oh, he's got a tight booty. Why did they make their ass so, so nice and round? James is like, I don't know if I can keep this in my pants. I see the booty. Hey. Your beauty's a, your, your booty's a beauty. Wait. Okay. So what's down here? There is nothing down here. Anything in here? Just cigarette butts if we were of a disgusting disposition. We'd probably smoke a couple of those. What the hell am I hearing? I don't know if I appreciate any of those noises. Uh, are we getting ambushed? What the hell? Whoa! What is this? What is this? More of that stuff. Oh, don't act like you've never seen blood before, James. Come on. Why don't we follow it? Should we follow it? Is this even a good idea? Uh. Uh, hello? Okay, we can dodge. I'm glad I checked that. Ah, we got a bunch of different buttons to dodge. Ugh, that means we can actually do combat! No! I'm not used to combat in this game. Oh, that was creepy. I think the door just closed. Okay, stop swinging the mouse around like a spastic, Jensen. Just stop doing it. Let's get some higher ground, see what's in there. Not a hell of a lot. Can we actually go through that door? Oh! Hello? We're being, we're being jived, I think. That turkey is jiving us. Well, I'll give him the old one too if I can. I hope we can use fists. Look around to find objects marked by white cloth. Those are objects or traversals you can interact with. Uh, there's some stuff right down here. Maybe some mummies have kind of come through here and have allowed us access to certain areas. This is dark as... Okay, looks like we're not escaping out of this place. This is dark as dicks. I think I just said. Press E to squeeze through. Okay. E is the squeeze button, it seems. And there's a save right over here. A mangled up bed just down there. I'm going to do a save. Hey, it's us! I wonder if these are all mirrors. And we're just kind of like looking at ourselves. And we're remembering things. Maybe. Is there like a lady around the save? Creepy! Okay, can we jump on the bed? No. Can we go through here? Yes. Oh, we can loot! Nice! This is like dying light all over again. Nutritio supplement. Okay. I will be taking that, I suppose. Press V to use a health drink. I don't think that's necessary right now. Do you, game? Do you really think that that is necessary right now? I don't really want to do that. I'm coming in. What the hell is that sound? Okay, can't go in there. Can we interact with these light switches? No. Maybe they just flat out don't work. Okay, nothing over there. So this is probably where we receive the mechanic, right? The the radio mechanic, which is actually really cool. It kind of lets you know when enemies are around. But I don't think we really need it. We could probably just leave, right? Nah, we'll take it actually. We'll definitely take it so we know when enemies are actually around. I was thinking about leaving it behind, but I don't think we actually will. Yeah, where the tune's at? Take it off of AM. There he is. What the hell is that thing? Is it, it's like in a straitjacket, which kind of represents insanity to an extent. It is dexterous for something in a straitjacket, though. Gotta be said. What are you gonna do? Yes! Oh, this is exactly how the first Silent Hill started. No, no, second Silent Hill. Uh, okay. Stay back. Stay back. Oh! 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 What is that? It's vomiting! I'm beating it upside the head! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! It vomited at me! Oh! Gross! Okay, we gotta beat this thing, right? To a halt. 
Get, get like three and then maybe we just like kind of try and dot type way. And now we, oh nice. Do we kill it? We're gonna kill it. I'm killing it. I'm angry with it. Jesus Christ, this, nothing says, hey, be careful. Like that, stop. This is better than dead space. Oh my God. Is this what I saw in the fog? <laughs> then I don't feel bad about beating its head off. Oh, is that candy? <laughs> Why is that my next concern? Oh, piece of candy. Oh, piece of candy. Okay, can't go through there. Right, our bat is bloodied. We could have probably just run away, right? We didn't take a single hit from that either. Good thing I figured out how to dodge in advance. Oh, it's more of that red stuff I've never seen before. Gross. Oh, I wonder what it could possibly be. That's a big tag. Okay, we'll come in through here. I'm going through. All right, Yames. Let's come through. What is this? First aid kit. Hey, I've just found some expired drugs. Excellent. Found a syringe. What the hell, seriously? <laughs> I found a syringe. Uh, oh, we can break windows, okay. Before the game even asked us to do so. Okay, I just ran into a door. So we probably would have figured that one out anyway. All right, let's mantle this in 30 frames a second. All right, I'm starting to think we're being catfished less and less by the second. If she said, I wonder what she said then. Okay, so we've got to be able to kind of like correlate the missing words that she said to the map we have. Maybe, maybe that's exactly what we're supposed to be doing. Lindsay Street, Martin Street, Sanders Street, American Cafe. Maybe no, Lucky Jade. No, Groovy Music. No. Grandmark. Ah, we'll just figure it out, I suppose. And we are going to figure it out in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist of Silent Hill 2, the remake that I am making. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you would really, really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you are going to find a link to my VODs channel as well as a link to my Discord. If you ever want to talk to me, just subscribe to them. And of course, until I make the next episode, I will be seeing you in the next one. And for now, at least for me, it's going to be lights out.